Atlassian started back when Mike and I were still in university. There were no startups at the time, and so you graduate out of university and go work for soul destroying companies. Mike sent me an email and said, let's not do that. Let's go work for ourselves. Atlassian helps product teams around the world uh, to ship better technology projects. We set out to solve the problem of tracking the issues involved in a software development project. There was stuff that was really expensive, and there was some open source uh, products at the time. So we built Jira, which was in the middle. It was fully featured, but it was reasonably priced so that companies like us could afford it. We don't have any salespeople. We've always had the philosophy that good software should be bought and not sold. And so instead of investing in uh, salespeople, we've always invested much more heavily in R&D. Probably a big turning point in the company's history was American Airlines back in 2002. They basically just sent us their credit card details on it and said, I want to purchase. So I sort of, you know, called Mike and, Mike, do you, did you help American Airlines? No, I thought you helped American Airlines out. And, no. Wow, neither of us have heard from this person. Mike and Scott are incredible founders. They're fun to work for, or they're fun to work with. I think they've got incredible instincts about our market products and they've got a deep understanding for almost every function in the business. After a few years, we decided to codify and write down what we didn't want to lose about the culture that we created. We have a you know, management team, the directors, and everyone through the whole company knows what the culture is. And that's where the values came from. Number one is open company, no bullshit. We're very transparent internally. We share our sales numbers, our plans, our product uh, direction, customer feedback. And number two is build with heart and balance because what we're trying to do requires a lot of caring for your employees. It requires a lot of passion in, in almost every decision. But at the same time, it requires a really innate sense of balance. My favorite company value is uh, play, comma, as a team. And the comma is pretty important. You know, we need to, to, to work together very effectively, but we need to have fun along the way. If you had asked me the things that like, differentiate Atlassian, I'd, culture would be absolutely number one. Building the company in Australia has had its challenges, uh, but it definitely has its advantages as well. When we go to Sydney, it's a prototypical large city, lots of corporates, where the Silicon Valley camp is about creativity, changing the world. So if we blend the two, two sides, if we keep a foot in each camp, that gives us a really good balance uh, against our competition. So my partners and I, when we first visited Mike and Scott in Sydney, came back on the flight back and you know, fundamentally we just said, these guys are the real deal. They have both the technical depth as well as the incredible business instinct and judgment that's really, really uncommon. We, we ran a pretty strict process in choosing our uh, partner. We didn't take any VC money for eight years of our existence, um, but we had a lot of people knocking on our door. And uh, we eventually had a list of 85 uh, venture capitalists that had called on us. So the reason we ultimately chose Excel is that I wanted to have a top tier firm that had really simple terms, a, um, someone I could work with. I wanted someone that was still young and hungry. You know, we are incredibly excited to be a small part of this Atlassian journey. You know, the credit really goes to Mike and Scott, the co-founders and co-CEOs that have made it happen over the last 11 to 12 years. Continued growth every year, continued profitability every year. There's very, very few companies anywhere in the world that can match that record. In, in 10 years, I hope Atlassian has the same set of core values. We'll probably have more products, we'll probably have more customers, we'll probably have more employees, but I hope we have the same sense of culture internally uh, and we're doing the same quantity of work with customers that love us and it's just a fun, fun place to work. I have the best job in the world. <laughs>